As an ophthalmologist, we will not like to see a post of condition like this. So we are presenting this video to help you with few tips towards OTA sepsis. Cleaning of microscope is important before we start the theater. The disinfectant should not be sprayed directly onto the microscope. It has to be cleaned with 70% alcohol. The lens has to be cleaned with lens cleaning solution or distilled water. The suspended particle in the air can settle onto the microscope and drop to the surgical site when the microscope is operated. This is being demonstrated using mustard seed. The next important step is a surgical hand wash. A social hand wash is just not enough and the European norm has to be followed for surgical hand wash. Here we are demonstrating the steps that has to be followed for surgical hand wash. The powdown iden is spread uniformly to about 5 cm above the elbow. Now the steps are followed according to European norms. On the palma surface, the dorsal surface, between the fingers, the knuckle, on either hand, the thumb, the wrist, and the tip of the fingers. These steps has to be repeated at least for three and a half to four minutes and proper rinsing in running tap water has to be done. If a nail brush is used, it should be used only for the nail. Stored water should never be used for surgical hand scrub. And you can notice the improper way of wearing the mask and the cap. Now we are going to demonstrate with watercolor to emphasize the need to follow all the steps of European norm. Now what you see is a casual hand wash where you keep rubbing on either side of the hand. And when you look at it carefully, you find a lot of space has been untouched. The web space between the thumb and the index finger. The dominant thumb is untouched. The web space, the tip of the finger. Now let's see what happens when we follow the steps. The interdigital space the knuckle, the thumb, wrist and tip of the fingers. Now you can notice that the entire surface of the hand has been covered by this technique. Once you have done your surgical hand wash, it is important that you wipe clean your hand. It is not enough if you wipe it this way. Now we are going to demonstrate the four quadrant method by which you wipe your hand. With one quadrant you wipe the hand of one hand, the next quadrant the other hand and the third quadrant the arm and the fourth quadrant the other arm. The proper method to wear the glove is being demonstrated here. The exterior of the glove is untouched by the bare hand. This is the assisted way of wearing the glove. Whenever surgical item is introduced into the surgical field, it should not cross the field. It should be collected outside the field. To demonstrate the need for collecting outside, we put powder on the pouch and open the pouch. You can see the powder dropping onto the surgical field. Strict discipline has to be maintained in the theater. This is not the proper way to stand after a surgical scalp. This is the right way to do it. A visitor has to stay this way. Accidentally touching the underneath of the surgical tray the back touching the adjacent tray, pinching nose, using mobile, wearing street clothes underneath the OT dress, taking eatables into the OT, using mobile phones, 
opening doors with gloved hand and going to the toilet in the OT dress has to be strictly prohibited. After the surgery, the gown has to be removed first, followed by the gloves. The glove has to be discarded in the red bin. While cleaning the instrument, make sure you don't produce aerosol like what is demonstrated. It has to be cleaned underneath the water. Instrument should never be packed wet. It has to be dried before it is sent for autoclave. A wet sterilized pack is never sterile. A proper autoclave indicator has to be used. When a surface disinfectant is used, it should be measured so that you get the desired concentration. Cleaning the floor should never be done the manner demonstrated. It should be done unidirectional so that you accumulate all the dust to one point and then it can be taken out. This is the wrong way to wipe the tray. Unidirectional is the best way to be followed. When we clean the floor in multi-directional, we displace the dirt to either side. So if you do it unidirectionally, you can bring all the dust to one point from where it can be removed easily. This is being demonstrated here using tea dust. This is the three bucket technique which has to be followed for disinfecting surfaces like the wall and the floor. The first bucket contains the disinfectant and the other two buckets contain clean water. After wiping the surface, the cloth is rinsed in the water and then the disinfectant before wiping the surface again. A broom should never be used in the theatre. Bacterial surveillance is important. Waste management is an important step in asepsis. It should be handled with proper protective gears and not like this. It should not be dumped like this. The waste should be segregated at its source and disposed of in designated containers. To prevent reuse of syringe and needle, it has to be cut at the hub, at the source itself. The segregated waste are double packed before they are transported for treatment. All these are done wearing protective gears. These double packed waste bags are transported in closed containers. These are then treated in dedicated autoclave. Plastic waste are shredded. Incineration subjects these waste to very high temperature. The collected needles are subjected to deep burial in cement containers. Thank you.